Alrighty guys and welcome back to ARK where today I got something special for you. So we are going to be setting up the hatchery area, you know, where we can mass produce dinosaurs. And as well, I got me a Gigaraptor here. Now, there's something special about this Gigaraptor, alright? It is the first one out of our genetic library. That means that last night, I spent a good 10 hours hunting down 150 Gigaraptors. I crank, by the way, I did crank my spawn rates up to two times. Do not recommend that. <laughs> uh, game lags a lot. And what I did was flew around on Rhino Nanthia, uh, on just basically hunting for Gigaraptors that had the stats I liked. And as well, I had my, was it, the Sphid, I saw the, it, blah, 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 the big freaking deer. This thing. See how he's bright pink? I gave him a speed, speed boost uh, as well. It dropped from one of the eggs I got. I gave him one of the, you know, was it the event candies for Valentine's Day. So, but yeah, these guys. Sivatherma. Thank you. But yeah. What we did is I flew around on him, threw him out in a cryopod, and what I'd do is I'd hit control, because that's how you use their special ability. And as you can see, it's it's legit thermal vision. And you can also see their stats, which I find very useful early game. Now, I figured yeah, this is good, because the only other way we can do this, base game, is with tech binoculars. And seeing so this is a creature, I figured it was okay. It's not like I added in uh, Super Spyglass or anything. That's one of those mods that I'm trying to avoid in this series. But yeah. So basically, the stats we got here is on the health one. When I tamed that one, it was a 34 in the health. And we got extremely lucky. And we got 57 in the health, alright? Now, the rest of them, I can't remember what the, the stamina one was. I think that one was a 32. And then the melee. The melee, I know, was another 30, 30 I think it was. I might be wrong there. And yeah, they basically, I just got good rolls on their stats. I did have to tame a good five different Gigaraptors. Uh, this, the melee was the one that gave me trouble. I kept on coming up short where I would get like 38, 38. Then I got this one that was like lucky. He's like, oh, guess what? You get 18 points into it. And then boom. And then we were done. I, I, I called it there. I was tired. So I hopped on this morning, bred them up, got them together, and now I'm figuring about doing this video. <laughs> so, anyways, what we need to do here to get started on the breeding area is, again, I have thought about doing stuff with the Gigaraptor, but I did have to do a test. So, I just gotta mention this. When you pluck their feathers, this one and its two parents give me the exact, the exact same feather. That tells me that in the point of breeding them down, there's a hidden stat that I can't see that is involving that feather. So I'm hoping a mod comes around that randomizes that because I feel like you got to get like specific ones to get specific feathers. So that encourages you to go out and tame different ones, which when I do a genetic library, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like the gotcha thing. You know, I had a mod where it allowed random random things for gotchas uh a random uh what were they random drops or well basically what i could do oh also these are broken i got to demolish two of them here and what we'll do is we'll repair this one right and now let me pick you up repair repair so i don't know how these got broken i think i'm thinking it was a shotgun blast or two while I was uh, working on trying to get these guys. Ooh, this one did not fix. I was short one polymer. And that actually reminds me. I gotta go tame penguins at some point so I can go build a polymer farm. That is something I seriously need to go do. And as well, you come here and you come here. I want you guys over here. You'll find a place to land eventually. Just make sure you stay in the gates. Actually, I should probably whistle you guys to land. You never know. Oh, that's attack target. There we go. 
Yeah, he just laid right in front of the, the plants that protect us, so I don't, yeah. Anyways, I need to grab some... I need to make a foundation. Or do, where do I want to actually do this? Because I got two options. I can do it over here on this. All right, and understand with that, I'd have to put another generator. And I'm thinking either way, I'm going to have to put another gen... You know, I think I'm going to do it over here. Legit, it's probably just the best area because... Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be... I got open area. I got water over here for when I do the water creatures. Maybe I should do it over here on the edge. Because then I even got the deeper water closer to me. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. And I'm... Ooh, yep. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't let me jump out of the water. Okay, so I picked a spot. Kind of setting it up. What I'm trying to do here is... I'm going to mimic the structure of the Utai egg pen there a bit but I'm gonna modify it a bit to look nicer for say egg production or hatching and all that okay now I'm trying to do the pillars like that um but I don't know how this is gonna look do I want to do how do I do this do I want to yeah let's do I'm gonna have to get more stone pillars okay so I think I got a good idea. I'm going to go with the wood pillars on the final top, but we're going to go up with two stone pillars, and we're going to do this. This is just so that way I don't accidentally walk off into the water when I do this, or the babies don't. So as you can see, we got two staircases up. I wonder, can I squeeze one of these in there? I doubt it's going to look good. Oh, um, maybe. No, I don't think I am. Um, I did. Just doesn't look look that great. Let's, I know I can do this, but let's flip it. Let's do it that way. That looks better. That looks a lot better. I like that more. That works perfectly. And it, it makes it so that way we don't just like fall in between. Or if we run in between, we don't get stuck. It's perfect. Okay, so I think now what I need to do is get a roof on this. So this should be pretty easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pillars here to assist me. It's basically the best way to do that. Ooh, come on, snap the way I need you to. There we go. And come on. Snapping sometimes in this game is a little wonky, I'm not going to lie. Never sometimes get things to snap in the right place. And now I can't even get them to snap facing up. Thank you. Okay, come on. Boom, I'm missing one. Did I misplace one? I had to have. No, I didn't. I forgot one. It wasn't that I forgot one. I forgot I put this one here instead of having it for the roof. Because I, I counted all the parts I would need to do that one's roof. And then, yeah. But this one works. Now I just need to get a generator and some cryo fridges. And then we should be good. Okay. I got my two cryo fridges now. Now I need to quickly uh, finish this up because I'm getting tired again. I should not have spent so much time this morning testing those things out. Also, as well, I just... Where did... Oh, it's still in my inventory. Okay. I was wondering where my second one went. So we got those two. Now I got gasoline for this. But I also just noticed they fixed the Giga Raptor taming. So what that means is that you know how yesterday I threw mine into a little pen to keep the parent away? Now the parent has to come back and check on the nest or you'll lose 
the taming percentage. It just like flat out will cancel out, and then yeah. So they they fix they fix that because that was not intended. So now after well, luckily after I tamed <laughs> tamed all mine, uh, but yeah no they fix that. Uh, yeah. So now you got you got to tame them with actually like throwing down eggs and all that. I might go do a taming video for you guys. I might not. I've been I've been kind of trying to stick away stay away from doing tutorial videos again. I wanted to stick to my uh my you know my my content my series content. Like I've been liking doing this more. So, but what I need to do seems how this guy's this one's my personal my personal Giga Raptor. All right, this is this is uh this is Kevin. I need to get another one out for this for this side. And what I think I'm gonna do for the next, uh, what would you call them? For the next species to be added to the genetic library. Sorry, I'm losing my mind here. I might go hunt down some more of these guys in the redwood. Because they're passive tames, alright? Problem is, though, is that when you feed them, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like when you feed the Baliosaur. Any creature nearby just proceeds to attack. That's, that's what happens. So, yeah. Oh, as well, I do got my Overraptor here for the egg, the egg area. So what we're going to do here is we're going to throw him out right about in there. There you go. This guy's a little abused because I punch him to move him around. There we go. Uh, maybe go over here this way a bit. Because I need you to be able to collect eggs and still have room, so... I'd say that looks like a pretty decent area. Uh, you are like sitting way back for some. Why are you standing that way? He's standing weird. I'm like, yeah, you're standing weird. Why are you standing weird? Oh, I think it's it's probably how yeah, his hitbox is registering. I don't know. That is my best guess. I don't know, <laughs> but. What I need to do is because I am going to get me a Giga Raptor for this area. And I do want to test out and show you guys how this area would work. Um, I'm going to pop you out. Oh, please don't fall in the water. You better be able to breathe. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, you're breathing. Head fully submerged underwater and you're still breathing. Perfect. How about you? Uh no, you're 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 gonna lay your head right on top of him. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So these guys shouldn't take long at all to wake up. Yeah, as you can see, they they wake up pretty fast. Alrighty, the second one here should be waking up any second now. Still got actually a little bit on it. But as you can see, these guys actually turned out really nice. I like their colors. You've been seeing them on this one. They all will look like this from now on. I, It's a bad habit of mine when I make a genetic library. Sometimes I see people will, where like one parent will have a different color, the other parent will have a different color, and then all their stats are the exact same. So that way you get color variation, all right? That's something that, that's what the person that taught me how to do this did, all right? That's the way he did it. Like, he didn't like balancing the color. He said it was a... You can, but it was it's an unneeded step, technically, if you're just trying to get the perfect creature. I make clone... I legit make clone armies. Legit. They all look the same. I, I don't know why. I have a fascination of making sure all the colors match. Make, it, make my pretty birds. <laughs> That's basically what has happened here. But we still have a long, 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 long way to go to uh, enable mating. All right. We still have a long way to go before we're done with the genetic library. Now, mind you, the Giga Raptor is the first one done. And that is just because I got bored last night, wasn't feeling too great, and like my throat was all messed up. My voice did not sound good. I legit just sat back, flew around Ark. Killed a lot of creatures. Did a couple dino wipes. And well, by him, I got me enough one, enough good 150s to finally do that. And that took me a lot longer than it normally did with uh, 
Arc Survival Evolved, even with cranking up the spawn rates. And as well. Did I do I have you set properly? Yeah, I do. You haven't dropped an egg yet. It's just, yeah, with the cranking up the spawn rates and all that. I felt like I feel like more creatures spawn on Arc Survival Evolved still. Cause if I go in here and I scan now and I do a gigger gigger after watch it's probably not going to show no it's not going to show you any but you know what it's going to show you it's going to show you that level 15 giga that i noticed today why uh, yeah i think it's probably despawned all the giga raptors because the ones that were left were either uh babyless or well, i hope it would despawn the ones that i oh yeah because i wasn't killing parents so i hope it's that you're despawning oh I hope they're despawning or they're respawning in their children. That's what I need. But I don't even see them on the creature finder anymore. I might have done a dino wipe and forgot about that. Did I do a dino wipe at some point? I think I did because there was... Oh, yes, I did. I did and I've completely forgotten about it. Because if I can find one of them, there is a... There is a bunch, a bunch of love, love bugs spawning on that corner of the map. And now that they're refusing to come into my base because of these, they're now just gathering on the edge. So, I did a dino wipe to get rid of them all. That's why, that's why there's no gigger. Okay, so, in single player, I am going to I'm not going to call out which creator said this, but I did watch his video today on the giga raptor on how on how to tame it but he said only one of them could spawn in survival or in single player now i'm going to tell you this fact that is dead wrong all right the best way to get them to spawn in is from what i've noticed is go fly around down in here you see where my cursor is go fly around down in here and eventually you'll have multiple start spawning in don't, if you're in single player, I'm going to say this as well. You're in single player. Do not be afraid to do a dino wipe, all right? It is one of the best ways to remove old bad dinos out of the system to allow fresh new ones to spawn in with a chance of being a higher level that you would like, all right? It's it's honestly, that's, that's the way I see it, all right? It helps. It helps in single player a lot. But fly down in this area. I think somebody even told me that you, you can get some up in here and maybe down in here. I'm not sure though because that I have not bothered to fly all the way over in here. I, this was legit the area I patrolled on the back of my Rhino Nantian. I figured this was a big enough chunk of the map to patrol. I didn't need to add in all the way over here and back around. So, yeah. Like, again, they spawned all the way up into here along this river, down over in here, up in here. They especially spawned up in here. They really like spawning up in here. I had a couple down in here. So, definitely around Green Ob. There was one that spawned down over in here, I think. Not not not, not in the swamp, but down in here. Somewhere down here. And then one of the, what that was over in here on top. So they, they can spawn around. I don't know if it's like a fixed point, like a wyvern's nest is. Um, because I I believe if it was a wyvern's nest, you could, in theory, leave the 150 there and eventually it would leave it another egg. But I'm not sure about that because I was never too sure about that in Ark Survival Evolved. And eventually I, I would like, you know, I'd leave the 150s there. Eventually like, all right, there's nothing but 150s here and no eggs are spawning. So, eventually I do a dino wipe. So, I, again, I don't think that works. I might be wrong, but hopefully... I don't know. That, it's definitely not a thing. But I was hoping maybe with the Giga Raptors, 150s would spawn if I left the adult around. But I think it's more or less... The only way the Giga Raptor can spawn in is with a nest and a baby. Because that's the only way I've seen them. Is with a nest and with a baby. Technically, though, I have seen one without a baby... But I also did see its baby get eaten with a rap by a raptor, so it was only like a level five. They got they got torn apart. Also, I believe by now you've produced me an egg. Yes, you have. So there we go. That's the first one there. So we're gonna disable mating on you guys. Throw you in the cryopods, just for safekeeping, so that way I never lose you, never die. 
Never starve to death. It's just the best way to keep them safe in a cryopod. Frozen away in time. So we have those guys there. Let's see if six, uh... Are those enough? Yes, that is. That is enough to hatch you. Alrighty, egg is hatched. Let's do that. We're not going to do any imprinting on it. Because, again, this one... It, do I even really need you? What? Okay, so... No, I don't think I do. Because hear me out on this. They really don't help in this case. I don't think they do. Can I... Can I pick you up with this guy? Left control. Left alt? Left alt, left alt. Left control? No. Let me try something else. Okay. So, you see how we have a young dino over there? Make sure that guy does not follow me. I'm not sure if we need that. I might have just made a Giga Raptor for no reason. Because now that I'm thinking about it, this guy's only good for wild dinos. I'm not sure if I can do anything with a, with a tame dino. Oh, yeah. That's just perfect as well. If you hop off, sometimes that happens. Ooh, we got that little guy. Please. Okay, thank you. That little guy just get eaten by terror. Yeah. He just got eaten by Argentavises. Okay, I found a Carno. But as you can see here, they quite literally send a small army after you on this island. My side of the island is safe because, once again, there is Plain Species X and a wall. Alright? A wall is useful. Keeps out things you don't want. And here we go. Ooh, you're level 50. Boom. Okay. Now, if I'm correct, I can hit left control or left alt. Why is everything attacking the child? Okay, the Rex has killed the child. You've pissed me off, Rex. It's a level 75. Ah, uh, they posted in their notes that... Oh, you know what? I think I know why that that's not working. I think I know why that's not working. Uh, I have not updated the mod, technically. So, in theory, technically, I can still tame them in that one way if you don't update the mod. But you don't get access to the new controls, apparently, where you can pick up babies without hopping off the saddle. It was, I was told that, like, is either control or alt. I can probably bring it up here and look. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Dang it, why are there so many of you? This is a giant chicken, all right? I'm just trying to figure this out. So I've pulled up the controls. It says left control, single press, hold, and release right mouse button on gamepad after three seconds. Damn. Okay, it might it might all right, I'm just like stomping now. Yeah, I'm I've not updated the mod, so that probably doesn't work. Um update about uh, added the ability. Okay, yeah, no, I have to uh I have to update the mod to get that ability. So, <laughs> technically I can go still tame all the Giga Raptors that old way. But, yeah. Um, I, as well, I, I need to test this out more because I saw something where, basically, you can get them to imprint on dinos, but it's not you imprinting on them, it's them imprinting on them. And then on top of that, they get an additional buff, you know? So you can make, like, an OP army. But anyways, guys, you know the drill. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. And as well, 
Uh, I am currently running a membership goal and a sub goal. So the membership goal is for the YouTube channel. We are trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99. Once we hit that YouTube channel member goal of 10, we will be opening up an ARC server. And I have already decided that the ARC server will be the centered. So we will be on hold until the center releases. Or say Ragnarok releases before it. Because at this point, who knows what's going to happen with it. Uh, yeah. So it's one of those maps. <laughs> But anyways, uh, we also have a sub goal, so we are trying to hit 10,000 subs this year. Last year we had the goal set to 1,000 and we crushed it. This year I have the goal set to 10,000, I believe we can absolutely crush it as well. And yeah, this has been Gun Shamori, signing off. Peace.